Why do we love it so much? Because Americans have a constant desire to make life easier, because we're lazy. We have no time for old-fashioned ways of doing things like sending a letter, going to the store to buy clothes, or even going to the library to check out a book. We love the convenience, but it's become a problem because we can't get through the day without our technologies. People say that technology has made drastic changes in the healthcare industry, like allowing research for incurable diseases, um, allowing doctors to perform surgeries, and even allowing people to walk who have lost limbs because we have prosthetic limbs now. Yes, I agree that it's amazing what technology has done for healthcare, but it's also a proven factor that can contribute to illnesses. Today, people isolate themselves when they sit inside on their devices, watching TV, on their computers every day. It's isolating themselves. And specifically with elderly people who are lonely because they don't see friends and family as much, they don't go to work every day, it's become a problem and they get lonely. That contributes to the progression of Alzheimer's disease, stress that can cause heart attacks and strokes, and alcohol and drug abuse. These devices take time away from the interactions that we have with people every day. An elderly man has a heart attack and he's living alone and he's stressed because of too much TV and, and internet that he spends every day. This has affected his body in the long term. And also think about texting and driving. One million crashes each year involve people on their phones. Um, Why is this such a problem? Because drivers need the constant phone in their hand every single day. We have a constant necessity for technology that it's become such a problem it even causes lives. Technology doesn't help us solve our problems, it actually creates more problems. If we rely on it too much, we should be preventing it more from causing damage. Probably the most affected by technology are our children, because they've grown up with unlimited access to it. Parents are encouraging it because they also use their technology every single day. They always use their phones and computers, so they set an example for their children. Most of us, we didn't grow up with unlimited access to technology. We kind of, a lot of us were outside every day, like I was, playing with the neighborhood kids. We spent all day outside, and also our families, took us on hiking, camping, fishing trips. A lot of us share that together that we grew up without unlimited access to technology. Today, children, they have it every day, every waking moment. They're on their video game, their Xbox, laptop, iPad, whatever. That's become a problem, and it also contributes to why America is so obese. Children also have a shorter attention span and lack of social skills because they only communicate to kids through Facebook, email, texting. It's such a problem because they don't develop those communication skills that they need in life. Our children need to have confidence in making new relationships, in interviews, public speaking. Every day they'll need it in the future. Also, a problem is that TV shows show a false reality to children. Girl sees, you know, a popular girl on Disney Channel who has all these friends, and life is so great, and so she thinks that she can do that too. And then she gets to the real world and realizes that life is not so easy. Also, a boy who sees fighting on TV, and he thinks he can bring it into the school hallways by just bullying kids, and that also encourages other kids who film it and put it on Vine and Instagram. That also brings it into the media, so that kids. Kids, wanna, kids are encouraged to video it and share it online, and that becomes a problem. That's also why cyberbullying is such a problem. Kids are so vulnerable and have such low self-esteem that they look to the internet for approval, and they, they value the internet's opinion of them so much. Cyberbullying is such a problem today that 70% of young people don't even have supervision when they're going online. Parents don't have control over what their kids are doing. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in young people. And 
it's also a problem with online dating because people put their privacy out online without knowing who is seeing it. So even when you are going to meet someone that you don't even know who they actually are because you haven't met them in person yet, it's a problem because you could be meeting like a sex predator or someone who's going to rob you or hurt you. You have no idea. And people trust the internet so much and that's why it leads to danger. This is how America's people are living and how children are growing up. We would be so lost without our technologies. We cannot make a day without, without having them. Yes, it makes life easier and faster, and life is so great with our devices. But the level of education actually has gone down with our technologies because you rely on your phone in your hand for every answer. Because you can just search on Google, so you don't want to look at yourself and you don't rely on your own mind to, to learn things. It's terrible that you will even go into a restaurant and see a group of people sitting on their phones rather than engaging in conversation. It's like people don't even care anymore about, about enjoying company and building those relationships because we have our phones that we can connect to people on Facebook and social media. We need to reconsider how much time we spend on our devices because that's going to affect America in the long term when children are the future and they've relied on technology for so long.